I think a lot of people will bring, in terms of society, will bring social, economic, and other factors to the table. What we bring to the table is a spiritual solution to what is a very, very deeply social problem. And the spiritual solution for us is to see the church in this nation and in the nations of the world experience a reformation in the Father's love. You cannot heal a fatherless world with a fatherless church. It's free people that set people free. So what we want to see is the church experiencing a reformation as dramatic as the reformation in Luther's time in the 16th century. Uh, in Luther's day, the reformation was around a legal idea of God, justification, God's judge, we're lawbreakers and in the wrong, but Jesus Christ, who is completely in the right, has died in our place so that we who are in the wrong can be declared in the right by putting our trust in Jesus through faith. So we're justified, just as if I had never sinned by faith. Christ, that was radical in the 16th century. It turned Europe upside down. But it was a relentlessly legal image of God. I, I want to say that we need to recapture the relational, family imagery about God and about salvation that's all over the pages of the New Testament. I'm not saying at the expense of the legal. We need to keep that. We need people to be justified. But we also need people to know that they're adopted. And this is where the church has been really lacking because the church has been very strong, generally speaking, on what we're saved from, but very weak on what we're saved to. What, what are we saved to? We're saved from sin. What are we saved to? We're saved to sonship, being sons and daughters by royal adoption of the high King of Heaven. And that's an immense privilege.